unfortunate that there is nothing you can do to make some people stop cheating. Break your backbone on the bed for them. Break your hands while making their laundry and do all what not, they will still cheat. I'll be giving you seven good reasons why people cheat in this video, and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Hi, guys, welcome to my channel. It's to your girl, Jen. guys I just quickly want to tell you that the real gist with Afrogenic has been moved down to 7 p.m. for your own good so you can get to participate in the program it's full of insight it's a place where we talk about relationship dating courting about married people about single people how to do it right how not to miss on what you should do all right, this show is an interesting one because you get to call in to tell us your view of what the title is saying. The very first episode was good. We had fun. So you don't want to miss out on the next one, 7 p.m. Nigerian time on The Real Gist with Afro Chen. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Click the red button. Subscribe below. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything that I upload or whenever I come live on the real gist with Afro Channel. We are going to be giving you seven horrible reasons why people cheat. Cheating is cheating anyway. There is nothing good about it. But today we'll be looking at one or some of the reasons why people say they cheat. Number one horrible reason why people cheat is boredom. Boredom in a relationship that they once hold dear. Sometimes, you know, when you're dating or courting, you have a way of saying, oh, this is where I want to go, this is where I'm moving to, and all of those things are things that you have enjoyed in your relationship with your man or with your woman, and suddenly because you're married, probably because the children are coming, everything becomes dry, and everything suddenly goes boring. Number two, some people say they want to pay him or her back in his own or in his or her own coin i don't know what that is for heaven's sake how could you want to use cheating as a payback uh, strategy or something whatever it is that your partner has done to you there is always room for communication you can talk about it it doesn't have to be cheating cheating on your partner with someone else it's absurd and i don't think it's something that you want to do like i said it's bad there is no good name there is nothing that you actually want to say cheating is no matter how good you paint cheating cheating is cheating and it's bad i try to imagine that, that someone has done something to you and you just want to get adventurous with cheating for real like i am just thinking are you in your right sense of mind for adventurous reason? Okay, I have been with, um, for instance, someone could say, I have been with a fat lady, so I really want to test out how a slim lady looks like or what a slim lady feels like in bed or something. Is that a not reason for cheating? Oh my God, I, like, I still try to figure out what that is, but it's another horrible reason why people cheat. They want to get some adventures, catch some adventures, and they cheat on their partners for adventurous reasons. It's a horrible one. Number four, horrible reason why people cheat is bad company. The truth is, if you find yourself in the carcass of men or women who cheat, you wouldn't have the option but to also cheat because these people don't see it as a big deal Cheating doesn't mean anything to them. So you find yourself cheating somehow bad company. Number five that I quickly want to talk about is personality traits. You see, the way we are wired are different. We are wired differently. Some people are wired to be extroverts. Some are wired to be introverts. So if you find yourself getting married to, as an extrovert, you find yourself getting married to an introvert, a 
as an extrovert, getting married to an introvert. You also be, must be ready with all of the challenges that come with them because as an extrovert, you want to see yourself do more of going out, socializing, meeting people, going to parties, going to functions and all that. But an introvert, an introvert doesn't like all of those. An introvert would prefer to stay by him or herself just in one secluded area. So if you find yourself getting married to an opposite in terms of characteristic or personality traits, you have to look for a way to create a blend to bring the relationship to work. Number six, horrible reason why people cheat is there is nothing you can do. Some people are just going to cheat. If you like, break your backbone on the bed for them. If you like, break your hands while washing their laundry. If you like, kill yourself in the kitchen while preparing the meal. The truth is, they must cheat. It's just natural in them to cheat. So if you find yourself with someone like that, I beg run for your life the last but not the least number seven reason why people cheat ah they want to change their taste probably they have been used to um hanging out with fat ladies their wife or their husband is probably in a particular way so they look for a way of spicing up stuff they look for a way of spicing up the whole thing that okay i need a change of taste probably i've been with a fat lady for so long so i want to change let me see how a slim lady looks you know change of taste so many people for such reason would abandon the wife or the husband for such horrible reason well people do it so if you find yourself hanging on one of those reasons that i have given there is no good name there is no good word that can complement cheating Cheating is cheating and cheating is bad. This is still Afrogenic, your girl. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more relationship and dating talk.